Okay, so here's the homework for fourth grade Bridges Math. And we're doing a rope climb results and skills review. And here, so in PE class, some places they climb up a rope. And how far up the rope did people go? And they've measured that in uh, eighths, I think. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. Eight eighths would be the top of the rope. So how high did each student climb on this rope. So basically, we are combining data and fractions here. And you need to think of a title. So maybe something like PE rope climbs. And then for this part, we're just going to fill in fractions of eights all the way up. Once we have that, we can start to put in our data. So one person did four eighths, so I'd make an X for that person. One person was one eighth, three eighths, there's another one eighth, and you're going to keep on going until you filled in the line plot. And then we're thinking about our data. So how many students stopped at the goal line of three eighths? Well, once your chart is done, just look and see how many X's there are for that. What goal level did the most students reach? That is called the mode. And that's going to be whatever fraction has the highest stack, right? What has the most X's is going to be the mode there. And then how many students touched or even passed three eighths of the rope? So that's going to be basically anything to the right of three eighths and including three eighths, count those X's and then you'll see that uh, total. And then what was the total distance combined for climbing the rope? Oh boy, that's a bit of a, a more challenging one. Okay, so total distance is we're basically adding all of this up. Now, the nice thing is everything is an eighth, so they're easy to add together. So we're basically adding all of the numerators, which are the top numbers. So you're just going to be four plus one is five eighths, five plus three is eight eighths, nine eighths, 13 eighths, 15 eighths, and keep on going and see how many uh, eighths you get total. So you're going to end up with an improper fraction where you have a larger number in the numerator than the denominator. And if you can, you can also do division and make a mixed number to figure out the total distance. So just try your best on that and we can sort it out later. And then over here, we're gonna do some ratio tables or array models to solve the problem. Okay, so how are you gonna go about this? You might go with uh, 10 and 60 first, but I can go much higher. I might go ahead and just double that. Um, and then I think if I go to 30, I'll get up to 180, and then I can go maybe little by little, or you can subtract 216 and 180 and figure out how much you need to get there, but that's how you do that. Then we have some decimal review and fraction and decimal connections. So, four, seven, eight, and nine, let's just see what you come up with. Are those the same? Do you agree or disagree? Um, and then here they're giving you an example, four tenths as a fraction is written like that. Uh, I'll help you out with 25 hundredths. That would just be 0.25 or you can put the zero in front too. And then here you're doing the opposite where you're writing those as a fraction. So for example, that as a fraction is nine tenths. So you'd write it like that. And then for these other ones, let's pop in a fraction chart to check these. Okay, so we have what first, uh, two thirds is here and three fourths is there. So what, how would those compare? And then for the rest of those, I think you can just look at these and figure it out. Um, this last one, what you'll need to do is convert seven tenths to hundredths and compare those that way. But I think we learned a lot about those before, so I think we're okay. And this is your homework for Bridges Math 4th grade. Thank you.